I'm going to install a new system today and the motherboard I'm going to use is from Asus one of the latest motherboard with a chipset Z77V uh, so this is the motherboard uh, as you see now with this motherboard there is other uh, step up from this one is the Pro and the next one up from Pro is the Deluxe and basically they all they can support the SLI uh, high-end uh, motherboards but we will go in details in relation to this uh, computer setup and also the other hardware parts I'm going to use for this system uh, setup uh, with Windows uh, 7 so let's open the box so as usual we have the user guide with uh, drivers software and we have the motherboard and we have some other stuff here inside we have the SATA uh, serial ATA 6GP two of them to connect uh, hard drives or um, uh, solid state hard drives and that's the uh, SLI bridge uh, connector and we have the panel uh, shield, I.O. shield so basically if we move to the motherboard let's open the motherboard I'm going to install i5 uh, third generation Intel and we have four DIMMs for the memory and those four DIMMs uh, it can take up to 32 gig of RAM if we look at the back of the motherboard as you see we have here the Realtek high definition uh, audio channel 8 support LAN gigabit 4 USB uh, 3 and we have this old school VGA and PS2 uh, combo uh, keyboard and mouse so this is because it's uh, the first in line with the Z77 um, it comes with the PS2 and VGA where the next one up the Pro and the next one from the Pro up, uh, the Deluxe, they don't have the PS2 and VGA. And we have DVI, we have HDMI, we have the eSATA and two USB 2. So as far as the uh, USBs uh, in this motherboard, you have up to 10 uh, USBs uh, support. Um, as far as the PCI, we can see here we have the PCI Express 16, uh, PCI Express 2, one uh, black slot, and we have two PCI Express 3 16 speed that can run in dual uh, in 8 speed. So if you do a cross uh, bridge, you use that uh, connector, you can use those two to connect to video cards. And we have the standard PCI slots and two PCI Express 1 uh, slots. As far as the SATA, we have four SATA uh, connection for uh, 3GP uh, speed and two with gray color. As you see here, that's for the 6GP. So one of the uh, hard drive I'm going to use for uh, operating system is going to be connected to the 6GP using the serial ATA cable. And basically we're going to install Windows 7. As far as uh, the video card I can use if I'm going to use one uh, video card uh, PCI Express uh, 3 I can use one of them 53570 uh, IV bridge as far as the memory we're going to use um, 8 gig of RAM 4 by 2 and you can see this the G skill um, uh, dual channel for this uh, uh, computer setup um, I'm going to use as well wireless with 450 MP per second so this is basically uh, I will use it with one of the PCI Express as I will uh, show you uh, shortly um, so this is very good so the computer will connect to the wireless existing wireless router at the customer place uh, using the wireless and we have Windows 7 Pro 64 bit so we're going to use that the OEM version um, and we're going to use the card reader, a standard card reader. It will connect to one of the USB header uh, inside the motherboard, so you will have access to the card reader. And also, it has one USB. 
Um, as far as the power concern to save money, we're going to start with the 500 uh, light power from uh, Thermaltic and this power uh, supply comes with two years uh, warranty and it has, uh, it's basically, it's a silent uh, power supply and it has all the connection we need to connect to the motherboard and also it will work fine with the current configuration hardware even if we upgrade and put uh, a new video card to install it will be sufficient to work uh, with this power supply. So as you see the CPU is installed and I'm connecting the heatsink here and as you see we have here the heatsink plugged to the motherboard where it says CPU fan. As far as the thermal paste as you see it comes uh, applied already for the heatsink but um, I can use uh, a third party thermal compound if I want to remove this and apply uh, a new uh, thermal paste. So we're going to install this now. So the CPU fan uh, heatsink installed and now I'm going to install the RAM, the 8 gig RAM. So I just have to open this. So as you see we have four dims and dual channel we're going to use the blue uh, channel in this case so I have to put the memory on the right uh, to, to insert uh, correctly in this case and we install the second one I'm going to use two terabyte uh, Seagate Paracoda and this is going to be used and connected to one of the uh, 6GP ATA uh, to the motherboard. And basically I'm going to connect to uh, this one, to this port, one of them. This motherboard, it comes with a price 167 Australian dollars and you can order it from uh, Asmarina website. You just look to the links uh, below. And also, it's basically it's suitable for uh, a high-end power user uh, or a game starter. Um, and we will go next 